dining room tour. If you've watched my vlogs before, then you will have seen obviously various bits of our house, but we are pretty much finished with these room, with this room, it's like one big open dining room kitchen. We thought we would give you a little show around. This house had actually been newly refurbed when we moved in. So as you can see, this is quite fresh. It's not perhaps, if we'd like bought our forever home and we're renovating it and started from scratch, we wouldn't have perhaps chosen this exact aesthetic because um, we've got like the dark black countertops and white shiny cupboards. Um, but we really like it, like it's fine for now. And yeah, it's actually quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, we're happy with them. Yeah, this is my husband behind the camera, by the way, that you might hear from time Hi, to time. Hi, it's me. <laughs> okay, so where should we start? Should we start like here and then kind of work our way around? Um, you would have seen a, like basically what the whole space looks like in my intro anyway, so there's no spoilers. Um, but I'll just talk you through. We've got our little coffee station here. We've had this Delonghi coffee machine for ages, but it still is amazing and we love it. And we've got our little coffee. We use that and love that. It's a coffee, don't we, that we keep in here to keep it fresh. And I'm not sure where these are from. They're really old. And Sam smashed one when we lived in Nottingham. So we will never be forgiving him for that. Um, but we really like those as well. <laughs> and it's actually really hard to find like nice, stacked espresso cups like this. Um, I think it was from like House of Phrase or something like that. So this is where we make our morning coffee and then below here we have a built-in dishwasher which I haven't cleaned or anything but it looks fine. Um, it's quite big actually so we don't have to put it on every day, we kind of put it on every few days. And then up here let's talk about the shelf. Um, or actually first of all the wall colour, if you haven't watched our decorating vlog then the wall colour is L Decoration, what's it called? Oh, what is it called? Delicate Touch. Delicate Touch, yeah. yeah. So it's kind of this very neutral, almost pinky toned, off-white kind of colour, which we really love. Um, and this shelf is from Etsy, which actually matches our dining table. Well, it's not actually from the same cellar at all, so it's not meant to match, but it's this kind of natural bit of wood, um, and it's got like a grey wash to it. We like the grey wash, don't we? Yeah, really nice. And then here we've got a patch plant plant. He's called Jethro and he's in this lovely charcoal pot. Um, I think it's called a lipstick plant. Then we've got some pasta in a kilner jar because we love pasta. Um, and I've got this gorgeous candle which was kindly gifted to me from a local business. I love this. It's made of um, like recycled or reused wine bottles. Um, and this one is eucalyptus, it smells amazing, and it's also got a crackle while it burns uh, thingy. What's it called? Wick. Wick, yeah. Yeah, then this photo frame is from Amazon, it came as a set. That's just us on our honeymoon in the Maldives because it makes me happy. And then this on the end is also from Amazon, and it is like an oil pourer for salads and things, but we haven't actually used it, it's mainly decorative. Um, I will pop everything from Amazon in particular below in the description. Um, and also some other bits like this is from Etsy. Did I say it was from Etsy? Yeah, you said that. All oh, right. Well, I'll link the exact shelf because I know I've got quite a few questions about that. Um, and any, I'll link anything basically that's like current and you can buy right now. Um, and then this is our like sink area, um, and we've got this draining drainer, dish drainer. What's this called? Dish rack. <laughs> this was also yeah, awesome. draining rack. Draining rack. Yeah. Okay. God, my brain's not functioning today. This was also from Amazon. Um, we've got a lovely Bayless and Harding soap, which is delicious. It's like a rainbow one. That was just from the supermarket. And below the sink, we have our washer dryer, which was built in with the house like the dishwasher. So that's amazing and it works really well. So far, we've had no problems and we've been here for six months. Then under the sink, we have the classic under the sink cupboard. And this is where we keep all our cleaning products and uh, like washing powder and stuff like that. Amazing. And then around the corner we have like vases and stuff like that that we can never reach. But to be fair, it's quite organized. It's not too crazy for an under, under sink cupboard. Then we have our microwave. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's, um, oh, who, who did that? Nigella Lawson. Nigella Lawson, yeah. yeah. Anyway, our microwave is this lovely Samsung one. It doubles up as like an oven. Um, so it's quite good for doing like a roast dinner and you need to do like stuffing or something. We got this with our fridge. Um, we actually have friends who, or a friend who works for Samsung and they get like a really good family and friends discount. So we're really lucky and got our beautiful fridge and microwave 
slightly discounted, so it made it much more affordable for us, and yeah, it's amazing. Then we have some cookbooks here. We've got uh, the roasting tin ones. The quick one is my fave, if you're wondering. And then this is a fake plant from home base, which we also have in our guest bedroom as well. Um, our kettle is out, it's hot. <laughs> our kettle is hot. It is Breville, and I think that was from Amazon as well. Yeah, Did we get you can get it from anywhere. Yeah, yeah, but we got it from Amazon. And then obviously we've got our hob and everything, which is all good. We've got this utensil holder, which we've had for years, no idea where that's from, with some utensils. Um, a matching Breville toaster. I just love the look of this. I'm so glad we went for like the kind of matte black. Um, and this basil plant. I am not sure where the pot is from because it had a different line originally, but love that. Um, and then here we have got a cheeky photo frame, um, which has got like basically our engagement shoot pictures and when we got engaged in Montenegro. And then I've also got this little ceramic tile that I got Sam when we moved here. So that's kind of like the main area where we cook. And then obviously we've got this huge whole countertop where we do most of our like prepping and stuff. Um, so yeah, I just, I absolutely love this kitchen. Like it's such a good size and it's so social. So obviously you can have people on the dining table, <laughs> sitting at the dining table or not on the dining table and be chatting and stuff. So when we can have people over, it's just gonna be amazing. Then, if we do the cupboards, this is the exciting part. I feel like I'm so nosy, so I would want to see inside the cupboards. <laughs> this first one on the left, we have food. So at the top, we just have all our baking bits, and then we have our Oatly, we've got a lot of Oatly. Um, coffee, hot chocolate, honey, stuff like that. Then we've got all our bread products, hot cross buns, got some of the Easter, and some eggs that don't fit in the fridge. And finally, we've got pastas and rices and grains and things like that there and some other stuff that doesn't fit. <laughs> then in this cupboard, we have a bit of a mishmash of things. We've got all our mugs that we use most regularly down here. Then we've got teas and uh, porridge and muesli and things like that, more tea. And then on the top, um, we've got like a, a little container which basically has like nuts and seeds and dried fruit and not forgetting the wheat bix are you enjoying this? It's like orientation for you. Yeah, I <laughs> forgot we had some of this stuff. Yeah, well, I know, exactly, <laughs> we always do. Um, and then this cupboard here, we have got kind of like more of our cooking stuff. So it's where we keep our olive oil and seasonings. We've got all our herbs and spices. Uh, what else is back here? Like vinegar and uh, soy sauce and like stuff you'd use to make sauces. Um, and then we've got pesto, chopped tomatoes, basically all our canned goods, all our tins. So tuna and baked beans and sweet corn and all that amazing stuff. Lovely. Boom. Oh, and these are um, soft clothes, which is good, isn't it? Bonus. So you can't stand your cupboards when you're in a mood. Like, bam. Doesn't work. Okay. And then this next cupboard, we have got all our glasses. So the glasses we use every day for water and things. And then new cereal bowls, which I'm so happy with. They're from John Lewis. And there's four beautiful bowls. Um, I had a 50 pound John Lewis voucher at Christmas, which covered the cost of these because they were quite expensive. There's some, what's the brand? I can't remember what the brand is. Oh, Royal Dalton. Um, so nice china bowls. And then we just have some more basic ones in there from Sainsbury's, but I really like these. We've got more like mugs and coffee cups um, that we use less regularly. But we've got these lovely espresso ones. We've got those for Santa Christmas. Oh, hang on, they're not espresso ones. For like short, like macchiatos or something like that. Okay, they're for macchiatos, I stand corrected. Yeah. And then um, at the top, we've got like kind of protein shakers and water bottles and things that we like never use anymore because we aren't going to the gyms. Um, and then at the end, we just have our oiler cupboard. So nothing too crazy in there. Oh my gosh, this video is gonna be long, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> We need to just quickly do the drawers. Okay. We've done those. So in the top half, most of our like normal everyday cutlery and this knife block with basically just loads of knives that we don't use that often because we've got a different one, which I'll show you in a minute. But uh, these were from Joseph and Joseph, the cutlery holder and the knife block, and I'll link them below. I think I've got one in John Lewis and one on Amazon. Um, but they're just amazing because the knives just slot in and it is perfect. We've got all our cheese knives here, essential. Um, that's drawer number one. 
Drawer number two, we have more utensils that don't fit, or we don't use this regularly to put in the uh, utensil holder. Um, actually, we use this like every day for Parmesan. <laughs> Got our garlic crusher and pizza cutter and some new salad spoons, which I'm very excited about from John Lewis. And so that's that one. Oh, and that holder is also, it's the same one as this, um, but it's pulled out. It's like an extendable one. So yeah, if your drawers are wide enough, you can have extra space, which is amazing. Then these two drawers are just kind of like matches, foil, clip things, whatever they're called. And um, yeah, just bits and bobs, napkins and things, electrical things that we need in the kitchen. Boom. Okay, right, then over to these cupboards, we have basically like frying pans, um, pot pans, colanders, all that fun stuff. It's kind of, this is a weird cupboard because it's got two doors, but it's like all the same thing. Um, here, this, these are the two pans we use most regularly. Cheese grater, jug, baking tray, and then onto my favorite cupboard because we have this fancy Joseph Joseph knife block. I absolutely love this, I got this for Christmas um, because this is where we do most of our chopping. It's just really easy to have there. And then we've got loads of amazing treats in here and foodie bits, including Easter Common that Sam bought today, which is amazing. I'm so excited. It's Easter weekend next weekend when we're filming this. Um, so I'm very excited about that. We also have all of our chopping boards and things and some like baking dishes. Um, and then there's like a casserole dish and there's more things around the corner that you don't need to see that are like cake stands and like, yeah, foodie bits, crackers, tomatoes, things like that. And the bottom here is where we keep our kind of like naughty treats. We've got lots of Easter treats um, and we also keep potatoes and onions down here and it goes all the way back. So there is some other random stuff like we've got actually got our um, toasty maker and things back here. Um, but yeah, we like this cupboard, don't we? Because it's got all the delicious treats. And the pasta machine. Oh yeah, and the pasta machine, which is in like a massive box. But we don't use it very regularly, so it's quite nice to keep it tucked away. Oh, final two cupboards. We can do this. <laughs> we have got our plates in this one. So um, big plates, side plates, pasta bowls, which we use all the time. Um, and a gravy jug. These are some like little serving bowls. Um, and then we've got some tissues in here because I don't know why. I don't want them on the side because they're ugly, but sometimes you need a tissue when you're downstairs, so needed to have those. Um, really cute white cups that I got in my John Lewis order with the with the colourful bowls. Um, they are cute, and we've got like some little like tapasy dishes. Um, this has our cheese board in it, and we recently bought some new placemats which we haven't yet used from Morrison's. They're like double-sided, light grey and darker grey. I really like those. And then we have this box of Tupperware, which has never been so organised. In our flat in London, our Tupperware box was the most stressful thing ever. Um, but we had this box from our wedding. Um, it had like all our flip-flops and things for guests in. So I thought I would keep everything tucked away in there and our end of bridge water plates, which are my favourite. Yeah, so that is all our main kind of crockery. And then finally, woo, this cupboard is a bit of a mishmash of stuff. We've got things like travel coffee cups, uh, like water bottles, um, a cafetiere, jugs. Our Nutribullet lives in here, it's really easy to pull out. Um, and then like our vitamins and stuff, we use these three every day and then we've got like some other bits. Um, and then we've also got things like mixing bowl, blender, baking stuff, and then um, other water bottles that we use more regularly. Isn't it fun looking in people's cupboards? Very fun. Don't you just wish it was like an activity to go to people's homes? And it is, I, I, yeah, I don't feel like we get to do this enough. Yeah, I know. Also, I, don't, I wouldn't say that I use those vitamins every day. Vitamin D is the main one. Big, big up vitamin D. <laughs> okay, um. okay, so that is the kitchen. And then opposite the kitchen, we have our beautiful fridge. Ta-da! which is amazing. You would have seen it before if you watched my vlogs. Um, it's a Samsung one, like I said. It's got the water dispenser, which is amazing. Um, yeah, let's just give you a sneak peek if you've not seen. Um, I haven't like especially cleaned it out, so <laughs> excuse any dirt. Um, but yeah, we did a food shop yesterday, so it's looking pretty good. Um, we just find that stuff is so fresh in this fridge compared to the previous ones we've had. 
um, and it's just amazing. Got some Prosecco in there, love it. And that is the fridge, and then the freezer side. Oh, God, and he fell over. We actually, it's quite full at the moment with lots of stuff that we never remember to use, so we need to start using stuff up. Then here are the non-glamorous things. We have our bin, which was from Ikea, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. I don't love it because it's kind of like blue and I don't think it really matches. I think it's a black one. I thought that was grey. Well, it's like bluey grey, isn't it? It's okay. It's fine. It's a bin. And then a Brabantia recycling bin, which is where we just put our small cans and things and then take them out. Or Sam takes them out. Thank you. <laughs> and then this one joins cabinet, which you will have seen many times if you follow me on Instagram. It was from Wayfair. I believe they don't do it anymore because I've tried to find it to link to people and I couldn't find it. Um, it oh, really? Was, we bought, yeah, really we well to get it. that then. I bought it last July or August before we even moved here. Um, yes, yeah, so we absolutely love this. We've got all our delicious wine in here. Oh, mellow. Um, mainly Malbec. <laughs> and um, we keep some stuff in here, which is kind of a little bit ugly, so I cover it with this lovely card. Um, and then on top, we have um, some Infini roses and an espresso martini candle, that was from m and And this new print, which we really love, and I have been working on my French. Are you gonna give us a rendition? Yes. La vie est trop courte pour boire du mauvais vin. That's pretty good. Did I do it? Yeah, well done. <laughs> Life is too short to drink bad wine, and I think that's just something we all should live by. Um, this was from, I forget, I think I got it on Nottingham High Street in the end. Um, it's a brand called Old English Co. Um, I've ordered a couple of prints from there and some cards as well. They do really nice things. They're also on Etsy, so big up to that small business. Shall I show inside? Go on then. Okay, so inside, <laughs> we have all of our glasses, um, champagne glasses, wine glasses, Sam's beer glasses, um, and then loads of spirits. I'm not gonna get stuff out, but there's Rum, vodka, tequila, got a bit of everything. Gin, obviously. Gin, yeah, two gins at the front. Um, Chambord, uh, our little cocktail. Oh, for someone who's been working on their French, that was pretty. How do you say it? I'm assuming the D would be something, Chambord. Chambord, <laughs> Chambord. <laughs> um, and our cocktail, like mixing set thing, which was from Amazon, and then Sam's got like loads of beers and stuff back there. So I love that. We use that on the reg, don't we? On the reg. Weekends. <laughs> Every day. And then this print I actually ordered for Sam because we were looking for like a map here, weren't we? Um, we ended up getting a globe, so it's not a particularly useful map. But this is from Next. Um, and it just kind of goes with the vibe of the drinks cabinet. And I don't know, do you still love it? Yeah, I do. Like, I had this vision of having like a big map that was actually accurate, but yeah. I actually prefer this because it's just, it looks nicer. It's more arty, yeah. yeah. Quite, like, Maybe we'll change it at some point in the future. It wasn't like it didn't cost a fortune, but it is, we like it for now. Um, and then we've got Howard from Patch Plants in a lovely ceramic pot. Um, he seems to be doing quite well now. He's growing some new leaves. So yeah, that is kind of the kitchen setup. Oh, I haven't talked about the bar stool. The dress is really floaty, by the way. I feel like people are gonna like be like, oh, is she pregnant? You look very floaty. <laughs> very floaty. This dress is um, really old, by the way, in case anyone's wondering, it's from ASOS. Well, two or three years ago. Um, okay, so final part of the kitchen then is just these bar stools. These were also from Wayfair, like the drinks cabinet. Um, really easy to put together, so comfy, aren't they? Yeah, they're great. Yeah, like Sam does a lot of um, work up here as well. Um, we'll have breakfast and stuff. And then I actually do usually keep like my yoga mat and some weights and stuff down here. Um, but I did put them away to make it a little more tidy in here. But it's just a bit of reality, as I do, we do often have like a bit of stuff down here. Um, and this plant, which I think was just from Morrison's, really cheap, um, and the pot is really old from Wilco's, I think. So yeah, that's the kitchen, and now we move into the dining area. Start with the dining table, which was also from Etsy, I like the shelf, but a different seller, I'll pop it below, I believe they're called Seven Mag Magog, Magog or something, but I'll, I'll write it below. Um, and we've got it in a grey wash, so it's this reclaimed, wood, it's really amazing quality. Um, when it first arrived, we absolutely hated it. <laughs> we hate, we just thought it looked really odd and it wasn't what we were expecting, but we like grew to love it quite quickly. And now, yeah, we think it's great. It's very like rough and ready, isn't it? Yeah. 
Um, but we love that and it's got these nice steel legs. And then that comes with a matching bench, which we've actually got on the radiator side, um, which is amazing because you can tuck it away if you need to obviously make more space. And then the chairs, which we chose actually from Amazon, they came as a set of two. And they are so comfy. They're like a pleather, I think. I don't think they're real leather. And they feel really soft, kind of like suede. Um, really comfy. I'll link them below from Amazon, like I said. They tuck in nicely there. Just demonstrate the bench. It's nice sitting this side, I always work sitting that side. <laughs> so yeah, that's the table. And then our amazing mirror, which is brand new, hung yesterday by my brilliant husband. Um, and this is also from Etsy. No idea what the cell is called, but I will link it below. And we went for slate grey, is it called? Uh, granite. Granite. granite yeah. So they have like loads of different colours. And I actually assumed it was going to be metal. Because um, these like window look mirrors often look like they're made of metal, but it's actually wood, which I really like. Um, so yeah, so happy with that. It's massive. Look, I can see you in the mirror. <laughs> Hello. And then you could just show that little um, terrarium, I think it's called, which is like where you make a little cactus. Ter terrarium. Garden. I think it's called a terrarium. 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 terrarium? I can't remember, but anyway, we've got one of those that was gifted um, by the shampoo brand Maui Moisture. So that likes to get lots of sun. The sun's actually coming out, which is nice. Bars of tulips, which Sam bought me today because he's the best husband. Lovely candle, card from my friend. And yeah, that's our dining area, really. It's quite nice because we can add like our bar stools if we need to, if we have more people over. Um, and we've got like a stool in the lounge we can use and stuff. So yeah, we love this table. Okay, we're nearly there. The final bit of the dining room. So this is opposite the dining room table. We have got basically just a lot of space um, because I tend to do my PT sessions here. So we often just have a yoga mat out here all week and then I just keep like weights and stuff. Um, and then my laptop's on the table so I take my PT sessions or do my own workouts. It's quite nice having this kind of blank canvas, isn't it? Yeah, we've left that blank deliberately for now. Yeah, I, I do think we do want stuff on the walls, but we're just not rushing it. It's one of those things you can do over time. And we also really want a dog. So at some point, it's maybe like a little... Dog bed area, but that is nice dancing. TBC. <laughs> nice dancing, thank you. <laughs> and then we have like a little seating area here, which is I literally love this because I can move the obviously this just moves around, it's really light. Um, and you can just place it basically in front of the double doors and get all this sunshine and like a reading chair. Um, that is from Wayfair, really comfy. And this table is also from Wayfair, it came as a set of two. The other one's in the lounge, which you will have seen if you watch our lounge tour, if not. I'll link it below. And then we've got Toby, who's also another plant from Patch Plants. Um, I love this pot as well. I feel like it was definitely worth paying a little bit more for the pots. And then you'll see before in my other vlogs, the puce de resistance is uh, Big Ken. <laughs> it's a really like unfancy name, isn't it? Which is just amazing for this space, although I feel like it's attacking me right now. <laughs> I usually would you move this chair a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's like quite a little bit of a jungle vibe in here, which is nice. And we get a lot of sun in here, which is perfect. So I feel like it's just going to look so nice in summer. And we have our double doors, which I'll show you more of all that when we do our garden transformations. So we're getting our garden redone. So I won't bore you with our big lovely doors. I'll show you all that in our garden video. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Have we, have we covered everything? We talked about the wall colour. I think, I think that's everything. We did it. We did it. I really hope you enjoyed seeing around our kitchen and dining room. I think it's probably, well, it's the most used space in the house. Although we do yeah. sit in the lounge in the evenings, obviously, and watch TV. But in the day, I work here or we're cooking and Sam works here, he's at home. Yeah, just absolutely love it and can't wait to have people over. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you liked it, click the subscribe button for lots more content. I'll link down below some of my other tour videos as well. So our guest bedroom, our bedroom, which is amazing, and some other videos. You can take a look at those if you like that kind of stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.